He's positive on both peaches. Sam Sora lifetime and Mutace lifetime. Three, there two, and one, oh, respectively. Oh, so. I'd be confident too. Let's it's on get his right side. Into this. Yeah. But, but again, the the same, man. Raz is definitely one of the more slept on peaches. Like, he, he did. Uh, he, didn't he put Shuton into losers? Yes. Yeah, yeah so. that was him. Close yeah, game three, five, though. It was yeah. 3 2, and it was insane, but he yeah. got the job done, so. Yeah, uh, so I actually good. had the pleasure of playing, well, not the, well, I guess the misfortune of playing him in uh, Clash, or Thunder Smash 2. Oh, damn. You oh. want to talk about misfortune? Okay. Don't get off the stage against Mars, man. You're probably not coming back. All right, well, never mind, man. You know, I was trying to give Raz a little pops, but Mars is not trying to nah, get any of that. I almost got another one. He literally almost got another one. Talk about props, he's getting them hands. Yes. Or the feet, whatever. I mean, he's, he's getting it. He's getting it all. I'm all shot, the limbs. Bro. Kick in. Straight up. All the extremities here. Sam. All right. <laughs> Hold on now. <laughs> Hold on now. <laughs> got to go with the velvet here, folks. Go down like the ground. <laughs> okay. He's back here. Still, though, full stock lead right here for uh, for Mars. Razo, not even close to getting that stock off just yet. I mean, I mean, maybe a good up smash right here. Oh, oh wow. wow. The du You know what? Mars might be backing up what he said, no? Yeah, I'll tell you, bro. I mean, I thought, did he say he's going to 3-0 or 3-stop? I'm not, I'm not, I'm trying to. <laughs> might have to remember that conversation a little better, you know what I'm saying? Might have to go back and revisit that one, man. But either way, he's working on both at this moment. My goodness, Razo just uh, seemingly lost at the moment. But, you know, it's only first game, you know what I'm saying? Like, never count somebody out based off the first game. But it's certainly a total oh. task at the moment. Okay, back on stage. Oh, I like that. You saw him jump back instead of trying to get too aggressive. You know that Razzle uh, will pretty much have the, like the frame advantage, if you will, off that uh, back air. Yeah. So. All right. Oh, yeah. He's just waiting, too, man. Back, back air. Yep. yep. So good stuff to Razzle finally getting a stock. But, I mean, already at 90 or 100 percent. I mean, this is looking yeah. all but done for man. him. It's like an auction right now. It's, it's definitely one of those. Oh. Never want a situation where you already think about where I'm going second game, so. <laughs> I mean, you can, yeah, you know. And honestly, uh, how many times have we seen somebody get bodied in the first game and then come back to win the second one, even take the set? You know what I'm saying? So. I mean, you have to think about this, too. Like, when Razo actually did beat Shutone, he was up 2-0. And then Shutone was able to bring it back sure. two games. So, yeah, I mean, you never want to count anybody out until the set's actually over. Uh, but, yeah, that was a very, very rough first game for, yeah, that for Razo, awesome. yeah. It was uh, it was tough. Smooth sailing for Mars, as Swor pointed out. Very good record against some of the best peaches uh, on the planet. So both yeah. positive. Yeah, both positive. Got to figure it out. Man. Yeah, he, 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 even though like Razo's definitely up there, I don't. I, I wouldn't say that like he's bringing like a crazy amount new to the table that like Sam Sora and Mew they both aren't bringing. So if he already has a, a positive rev record against Sam Sora and Mew, this is a very tall task for Razo to climb. So we'll see what happens. It is what it is, man. We'll see game two coming up for you. Uh, so those are some quick deliberations. What do we got for that, that stage selection for game number selection. two? You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and show me that real quick. Okay. All right, back. All right, okay. Why not? You know what I'm saying? I like that. Well, I mean, I'm not the Turk. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I'm not going to say the stage really uh, took anything away from mm -hmm. him. You know, oh, he, he did die to one up air that I don't think would have happened if Mars didn't have that uh, that platform. But then again, if he would have went to any other platform stage, that platform still exists. So, That's you know. fair enough. Unless he was getting uh, FD or maybe Kalos. Yeah, he, this is probably his best bet. So let's see what happens here in our second game. He's actually got a, pr a pretty decent percent. Oh, never oh mind. My, bro, that's never mind. Every never mind. Mars just, like that conversion, you can count on Mars, man. You can count on Mars to nail that. And it's crazy, too. Razzle with a really uh, solid start to this game, no doubt about it. But he just got overwhelmed. Like that one interaction that he loses, he just loses the entire stock. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, I just, I really thought he had that. Smash, but right. unfortunately, he was. Wrong uh, game play. Uh, <laughs> Wait a minute now. Now smash is kind of nice. It's, I mean, it's not it's not the greatest move, but it's still pretty nice. It's all right. There you it's go. Right. You know what? It's got him on even footing right now. How about that? Quick imagination combo if you saw my man's racking it up there. Oh, okay. Yeah, combinations. Just trying to keep him at bay. Love that parry. Don't let him bully you, man. Just fight your way out that corner. All right. Doing a good job at that. Oh, scoop. Down throw. Oh. Actually, somehow was not able to get a follow up off that uh, off that down throw. It's not usual. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that was pretty cool actually. And that's just off one slight mistake from Razzle. Wow, and Mars just being willing to challenge off the stage like that. Okay. He Razzle, be, no, hold up, man. No, okay. Hold on, Razzle might be able to catch himself a lead here, a, a, a percent lead or a stock lead. He's got the percent lead right now, but he definitely is looking for that. Oh, looking for that stock lead more than anything else. Absolutely. Oh, okay. That up smash probably would have done it. Whip back here. That's going to close it out. Razzo, complete 180 from that first game. Really bringing it to Mars. 
but putting some pressure on that shield is going to get him a boost kick to the face. But we're still living with that stock, 132. Got to manage it pretty well, and that is not going to be the way to do it. Don't put yourself in the air like that, my man. Yeah, not at all, man. You saw he was like, look, that's the one thing that Mars always uh, doing. One of the Mars' big trades, Mars. I feel like he definitely catches a lot of people with up smash. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh. All right. All right. Okay. So we're going down to the wire. Game number two. Razzo doing his best not to be trailing 2-0 in this situation. That's not where you want to be. Yeah. But it's one of the best players on the planet. But he's certainly keeping up with him in the second one. So he's got nothing to be ashamed of. No, not at all. But okay, obviously good, the good feather in the cap will be to get the dub. Oh. oh, looking for the looking for the down smash, but instead finds that F tilt. This is definitely kind of down to the wire between our two competitors. Razo, they'll start wow. to lose the grip on the, this game. I mean, I feel like he had a really nice, uh, really really nice start, if you will. But the finish, not nearly as nice for him as Mars able to take it. Now 2-0 over him. We have one more game potentially if Mars is able to make this 3-0, or is Razo going to uh, go ahead? And Get himself some points on the board. Bro, I feel like that whole, like, last 10 seconds from Mars was, like, some real nice artistry, right? Just the way that he applied all that pressure on the right side and then just it will eventually convert to the to the, uh, to the the boost kick. I thought it was pretty uh, pretty damn good, to yeah. be quite honest with you. I was just yeah. like, wow, he's really, like, keeping him with the Zare and, like, the fairs and stuff like that, just keeping him at bay. That was really smart. Yeah, I mean, you can never – I feel like you can never count on Mars. Like, I mean, I've seen him make some crazy comebacks, but – even so, it was an even game all the way until the very end. And honestly, you don't want to have an even game with Mars. You want to, you want to dominate. You know, you don't want to feel like you're dominating at the very least. So I feel like the, the game just started to uh, escape Razo, and then uh, Mars is like, well, it's my game now. Yeah, definitely, I mean, I feel like that first, you know, 15 seconds of that match definitely belonged to Razo. He was like a hell of a lead, but again, that one mistake he made cost him an entire stock. So this goes to show you how tight you have to play against these uh, upper echelon players. Mars, of course, being one of them, but. Razzo definitely in that game two. If that game two is any indication of what he can continue to bring to the table, uh, especially with the, the wins he's already accumulated throughout today, I wouldn't be surprised if we get at least a game four. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm going to be surprised, but right now with the way that Mars is able to close out these last stocks, that's, that's the stock that matters, you know mm. what I'm saying? So, like, even if Razzo is in the lead, you know, at the, at the beginning of these games, he's just not able to find this last stock before Mars does. Yeah. Mars, man, looking for a lot of the oh, oh man, great back so here. Good. He just juked him a little bit yeah. and baited him to drop the shield, and that's where he caught him. See him do that so many times. You can ill afford to get comfortable. But it's All hard, right. man. You want to get your offense going, too. You got to get out the shield to do that. So, yeah. like, I get it, man. Trust me. Not a knock against you. Oh, the slow crawl. All right. Guys are looking for some openings. Wow. Again with the Zares and then right into the grab. To Mars, I mean, look at it sitting at this 146, still living off off of this uh off of this dash attack. Oh, was that back here? I thought like that was back here. I think that was back here. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, good good punish right there from Razo. Find find that stock only 30 percent. Almost got a nice combo, uh -oh. a nice peach combo started. Somehow that second down tilt was not a uh, a spike like we we're expecting to see when when a uh, opponent's on the ground. Yeah. So that like must have been like some weird sour spot that I don't I've never seen before, but it'll work out for him. But some of those big meaty uh, peach combos we're used to seeing is it's been one thing that's kind of escaped Razzo in this set. I haven't seen them really string together the most, like some of the, the greatest of strings that we're accustomed to seeing. But nonetheless, I mean, you just got to take it what it is against Mars. Let's go from there. Not doing a bad job by any means. Down about 60%. Just got to find the right opening. It looks like he found one. And he just took us. He just took us off the gas. I mean, I get it. You know what I'm saying? You want to be cautious, but you got you got to pressure advantage against this guy. Oh yeah. Because Mars is really good. One thing Mars is really good at is people like give him a lot of credit for being aggressive, but he's actually really good at kind of masking his camp and like he'll camp right in your face. You know what I mean? Like throw. Looking for the up smash. Couldn't find it. Another back throw. Yep. Whoa. That would have been a great side B right there if he was able to find it. However, the side B being found by Razo. Yeah, that's yeah, that second side B, though, uh, definitely a little off the mark, giving Mars the free punish of that up smash. Okay, Ooh, speaking of up okay, smash, right. 98. Am right? Okay. What? <laughs> you, that's crazy. We'll you take nice, it, bro. bro. Definitely needed that. Uh oh, and I was talking about getting a, a nice, juicy peach combo. Well, here it is, right on cue, 59% being stacked up. Goes for the toad counter, which leaves itself wide open. So, oh my goodness, not like this, bro. All right, hold on, though. How's he going to get himself this stock? How, how, honestly, how is Razo going to get uh, himself a game is the, the bigger question. He's getting very close to getting to 74%, a little bit of a percent lead here on to Mars. But, you know, he had a percent lead in that last game as well, and Mars still managed to find that last hit first. That is true. Razo really was kind of playing with house money at this point. Really nothing to lose just to get on the board. 
I want to see that oh. big play. Goes for the parasol. Got to get under, getting stunned. And it, oh, that's my, so smart. That is it's so, so smart. Gucci, bro. Let me just get those couple extra steps to the right side, and you're not coming back. That was godlike. It was so smart. Like, like he definitely wasn't going to kill from the middle of the stage. Right. So he's like, let me go ahead and increase my chances of getting this stock by pushing you over. Ever so slightly. Yeah, and Ever even though so he didn't slightly. get off that, he still put him in a really, really bad position. I think Razo was expecting to come out there with maybe a Zare, so he tried to counter it, but yeah. he waited it out and got a back air instead. Good stuff to Mars as he takes that, and he's now into our Thunder Smash Clash of the Pandas.